Hello, everybody. How are you doing today on this fine weekend? Where are we? It's a little hot and humid <laughs> again. It's summertime. What do you What do you expect here in uh, Washington, PA? We have a really cool uh, site. We're at a look at this. Sabrina, I never have like this type of setup with a grill and deck and uh, chairs and everything. Really nice. But we want. <laughs> We wanted to come on live today to share a story that happened over the fourth of the fourth of july weekend jeez and i've had coffee it's not really all that early i shouldn't be stumbling on my words so first let me say when kenny said we're the best people to oh no he said he was the best person to crash into yeah. i didn't think Apparently, you guys people took it to heart yeah i didn't think anybody <laughs> would take that literally <laughs> here let's move out of the street <laughs> Yeah, I did say that, and I uh, I quickly regretted that because just a week after I said it, uh, we we were at a campground on Fourth of July weekend, and you know things get crazy, oh, and I'm going to stop talking. Coming. There's a golf cart coming. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we usually do our videos inside. Yeah. I know everybody's like, here. oh, why don't you show us where you're at and you know areas outside and go outside and do videos. It's tough to do videos outside. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, hi Sue. Hey Sue. Oh boy, I'm not butcher your name. I'm sorry, Malkali. No, Mal Malkai. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we were. It was Fourth of July weekend, and we were going to dump some trash I guess we, we took our car we hopped in the C-Max drove down to the dumpsters uh, parked the car down by the dumpsters threw out the trash got back into the car and there was uh, traffic so we were just sitting still waiting for the traffic to to move out of the way and um, traffic meaning like golf cart golf traffic. Car traffic they were yeah. coming from some sort of event or something I don't know what they were doing. and we were just sitting there just waiting for the traffic to to you know clear up and I saw this guy driving in the golf cart heading towards us and he was like Going, it looked to me like he was going to squeeze between us and uh, the dumpsters. And I was like, oh, why would he do that when there's so much more room on our other side? There's nothing nothing on our other side for like a football field, except for other golf carts, I guess. Maybe that's why he didn't want to go that way. And as he's driving past, I yelled out. I was like, don't, don't hit us. <laughs> and he drove right into the back of our C-Max. And then it pushed our, our bumper in. And... Uh, he looked to me like he was on keep on going and i don't usually get upset with people i don't get mad or anything but i hopped out of the the car pretty quick i was like yo yo <laughs> or i don't know what i actually said you might know better but and i and but he did stop it did i guess he didn't realize he drove into the car so he like hit the bumper kind of bounced off a little bit kept on going and i think the person on the back of their golf cart said hey we just hit that guy and girl hey and then i got out of the car so I probably, if you've seen Avengers, the first one where um, they were talking to the Hulk and he said, want to know my secret, I'm always angry. I got out of the car like in that slow motion pose and I probably looked like I was going to, I don't know, hurt him because I felt angry. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I knew my face probably said it all. And he was like very apologetic. And I think yeah. Sabrina is actually very intimidating in person. I know Sue disagrees, <laughs> but Sabrina is just about six feet tall. So she's very big and she always has this look on her now she has these guns <laughs> and no. she always has this look on her face if she's not smiling you have what you call like a resting and eh, we won't say it. say it i won't yeah <laughs> but she looks angry all the time so i think she really startled this guy and it's probably hard to tell what like when you're watching us on videos that you know sabrina is you know she's, she's a big girl every <laughs> time you say that i'm like why do you always call me that <laughs> <laughs> you are you're a big girl but, uh, you know, if you're watching us on videos, you, you probably think we're like little tiny people or, you know, like we should be, you know, directing you to the yellow brick road or something. But she's, she's a good size. She's a, okay, this is getting so out of hand when now. She gets out of the car. <laughs> when she hops out of the car, I think she really kind of intimidated this guy. But I get out and, I, of course, I kind of yell at him real quick, but not real bad. And then he's like, oh, did I hit your car? I said, hit the car. I said, you just pushed our whole bumper in. It, it was a decent sized, you know, dent. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And the first thing he says to Sabrina, he's like, I only had a sip tonight. I barely drank anything. I was like, oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, a sip on. doesn't make you crash the <laughs> Yeah, car. you just drove right into our <laughs> car with a golf cart. <laughs> of course you. <laughs> he was a little tipsy. Um, 
but luckily so then it starts raining but I, I was able to get down on the ground and luckily the the, the bumper is like hollow ended from underneath and i was actually able just to push the dents back out and it just left um scuff marks that may or may not rub out but keeps, it makes us think every time we think about like changing our car we're like oh we're so glad it's yeah, a used we're car like, oh, we'd be so upset if this was a new car <laughs> yeah because we're kind of sort of shopping for, i mean we, we do everything Use that so, loosely. yeah we do any everything so far out but we're looking for a new tow vehicle for maybe like two to three years <laughs> from now and you guys know we did a video on they always say that they only had a yeah or a one yeah but um, we were looking, you know, we did a video on a Ranger, or not a Ranger, the Wrangler. And uh, I really liked the Wrangler, that two-door Wrangler. Sabrina's kind of on the fence. No, I'm not on the fence. She's not There's on no the fence, fence about it. She There's does no not fence. like the two-door version. on this side of the fence. No fence. <laughs> and then uh, we went to go check out a Ford Ranger, the brand new 2019 Ford Ranger. And we both like that, but we haven't test drove it yet. But we like the look of it, and uh, we thought it would be cool. It's light enough to be able to tow behind our Vista and to have a pickup truck. We thought we would get a lot of use as four-wheel drive, so it's it's got some of the similar capabilities but of the Ranger. we never buy it new, so it's going to be a few years. Yeah, and this would be, yeah, we don't buy anything new. Um, but that's what we were thinking when the guy hit the car. We are like, eh, at least the car we've had for a couple years. It's a 2013. It's got a couple scuff marks, no big deal, and we just told the guy, all right, get out of here. <laughs> he was very apologetic. He was terrified, Once he realized that he hit us, he was very apologetic. Yeah. So when he was driving away, I, he... So you must have had more than a sip if you didn't realize that you hit something. <laughs> I think you guys are always too nice. <laughs> I am always too nice, Sue. <laughs> Sabrina, you have your moments. Sometimes you, you could catch her on a bad day. I once made a shirt for Sabrina that it actually just shrunk in the dryer. Yeah. Approach with caution was the shirt. <laughs> My thing, okay, so I won't say that I'm not always, I'm always nice, I'm always nice. But I will say that, like anybody else in the world, there are days when I'm not as in as great a mood as some other days. And so now, Kenny has asked me over the last few years to please let him know, because he can't tell when I'm in a not-so-great mood versus a great mood. So I literally will get up in the morning some days, and I'll say, <laughs> Kenny, I'm in a really good mood today. And he'll say, thank you for letting me know. Or other days, I'm like, it's very... no, I'm not really in a great mood. I'm going to tell you that from now. So... He's appreciative of the yeah, knowledge. That's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's safe. Nobody got hurt. I actually thought that too, David, because there were two people uh, on the back of the golf cart, and the back of his golf cart hit the back of our car, and I thought, wow, that that was could have been, uh, you know, a dangerous situation, but somebody's ankle could have got pinched between the car and the golf cart. Because they're dangerous. Well, they're ankle getting pinched. Well, ankle getting pinched between the two vehicles, I think, would... Oh, that sorry, be, I mean, yeah. That would be, I don't know, that would be painful. It'd be painful. I don't know. Somebody, it, it would be painful. I wouldn't <laughs> want it to happen to me. But Somebody asked where, where we were. Uh, we are in Washington, PA, at a KOA, and uh, with a very nice site for a change. We don't usually have such cool areas. Uh, the only reason we have it is because you upgraded while I was in class. Yeah, that's I right. got a text talking about, do you want to upgrade to this nice site? And then I got another text saying, it was an extra $13 a night, I did it. And then I got a receipt to my email while I was in my class. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's nice. We were, so we were originally down, see, I, don't, I don't know what you guys can or cannot see in the, but we were in, in one of these sites further down the road here that don't have the decks or anything like that. And this site opened up and I was like, oh, I'm on. I'm hopping on that site. We had my parents come and my nephew come and visit us over the weekend. So I was like, oh, this site would be perfect to be able to have them here and hang out and, and have a, you know, be able to be outside and hang out. Because, you know, our Vista being under 30 foot, it's great for the two of us and Belle. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you have a third or fourth person, it's still manageable inside and, and you have a little bit of space. But with five of us inside, you know, our RV gets, gets for us a little tight. Yeah, it gets cramped. So to have this outdoor space like this uh, was nice, and the weather and the weather was nice. The stink bugs. Oh, oh yeah. I know. We know. I know. They're and once you get one, it's it's I, like you have a thousand I of them. I've never seen them until I moved to Pennsylvania, and I remember they were in your condo, and I was I wasn't even sure what they were, yeah. and you had told me what they were, and now they're everywhere. So. Now, yeah, we didn't have uh, Roanoke. Yeah, Chris. Chris had written us. I'm not sure on Instagram or on here that he was from uh, Roanoke. Nice. Now I can't remember. But yeah, uh, Sabrina and I lived in Roanoke for six years. We loved it. 
Um, most of my time has been spent in Philadelphia. Most of my life was spent in Philadelphia. And you, you grew up most of your life, I guess, Florida or Canada? Florida. Florida. Most of her life was spent in Florida. But she was born in Canada. Sabrina's actually Canadian. Are you still Canadian? Yes. I don't know. But I'm American <laughs> too now, so. Ah, bugs! Oh my goodness. We are not campers. Somebody said do this live so that they could see me run from bugs. Well, there you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before I forget too... I don't talk about the Beyond the Wheel uh, podcast too much on our YouTube channel. And somebody actually wrote to us and said, why don't I talk more about the podcast? And I think I just keep, I try to keep our other stuff separate. Maybe I shouldn't. I mean, I, I don't usually talk about too much of the stuff that I write for Winnebago either. But uh, I will talk about the podcast a little bit since we're on YouTube. And Joe Russo is such a big uh, influencer on, on YouTube. Uh, if you don't know Joe Russo, he's part of the Worthy Russos, Joe and Kate. And he just came on to the podcast this week. That episode's up and live. I got it in the description. And he talks about uh, his first book that he wrote and his second book is coming out. So he talks about you know how, how he wrote the first book, what he learned from writing the first book and applied to the second book, marketing strategies for the book. He, he, of course, talks a little bit about the YouTube channel and how him and Kate started in the RV life and... It, it's a really good interview. I'm not sure if you listened, you to, it listened to it yet, but it's it's really good. Joe was great on the show, and uh, he's kind of quick on his toes, so it, the whole interview uh, kind of moved along smoothly. What's that? I heard quick on his toes. I was like, what about his feet? Just on his toes. I This is what he told me. He said he's quick on his toes. Joe. I've always... Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of your podcast? See, that's how little I there's talk about it. Oh, there's another boat flying behind So the name of the podcast is Beyond the Wheel podcast uh we just recently got picked up by iheart radio so now you can find us on itunes iheart radio stitcher what's another uh google play we're, we're pretty much on every platform now everybody is just about uh picked us up now we're doing pretty well so the podcast is uh more for the rv industry of things so we're talking to owners of apps and products and getting like that behind the scenes look of the RV industry and what what drives the RV industry why are people you know how do they come up with these ideas for products like we talked to the owner of Battleborn Batteries and the owner of Snap Pads and we talked to uh, uh, Amy Burkert who is the creator of GoPetFriendly.com we've talked to the CEO of KOA uh, we've talked to other campground owners and it just gives you a different perspective of what goes on kind of behind the scenes I, I, uh, I do it with my friend, uh, Sean Chickory from Chickory's Travels. It was actually all his idea. We co-create it and we co-host the show together. Uh, we've done a couple live meets and greets and uh, we are having a blast with it. Uh, we're sponsored by Battleborn Batteries and uh, that, that's been helping us out. They help us reach a larger audience and they, they help promote us and it's been a lot of fun. And, and surprising too, if you want to hear like a little bit of backstory between what it's like to have a YouTube channel and a podcast. So I'm pretty sure, uh, well, I'm not pretty sure, I know, there we get more respect from the podcast, even though it's newer and younger and doesn't reach as great of an audience, we get more respect from having a podcast than we do from a YouTube channel. If we would have went to KOA and said, hey, we want to sit, as Sabrina and I, as Moving Forward Adventures, and says, hey, we would, we would like a, to sit down with the uh, CEO of KOA and talk to them about their campgrounds, they would have laughed at us. I just know they... They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't take it us seriously. But for some reason, the podcast has a little bit more respect to it. When we, when we emailed KOA and said, you know, we have a podcast, Sean and I have a podcast, and we would like to sit down. Uh, we actually met with them in person and did the, did the interview live. I, I, I don't know. We're, we're surprised of how many people we get on the podcast. Winnebag we've talked to Winnebago. Like, uh, I don't know. It just wouldn't happen with YouTube. For whatever reason, people respect the podcast a little bit more. Why that is, I have no idea. But the podcast has been a lot of fun. Let's see. So there was a question about any modifications that we've done to the RV recently. Recently. Oh, recently? Not recently, but Sabrina and I are going... We're, we're making a video to... Well, not... We're making a couple of videos. we got a couple of ideas for videos. One is going to be five modifications that we've made that cost over $100 a piece. And five modifications that we've made that cost under $100 a piece. So we're going to put out those two videos, and we're also going to make a video today of uh, questions you should ask yourself before going uh, full-time. So uh, 
Uh, I wrote an article about this for Winnebago Life. We've done live presentations about it, uh, where we stood on stage and talked about it. So now we're going to make a edited video about it as well. Uh, recent modifications. The only thing that I can think of that we did recently was that, so our Vista being a 2016 did not have USB in the back bedroom. So like when we're sleeping at rest areas or cracker barrels and stuff like that, if we wanted power in the outlets in the back, we would have to turn our inverter on to charge our phones. So I added USB in the back bedroom uh, next to the bed so that we can plug in our phones and charge them overnight. Um, that's, I think that's the only recent modification. Uh, we did just order, so I'll, I'll walk you guys around. So some of you, a butterfly just got her. Yeah, that's right, a butterfly. Oh, it landed on me. <laughs> So, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> you should be more worried about me than the you bugs. told me to come over here. <laughs> so this right here is a magnet shade on the front. Uh, we love it. It's incredible. But you'll see that we don't have any shades on the outside on the, the passenger or driver side here. And uh, we just ordered, I don't know why it's so wrinkly. It's not usually wrinkly like that. But we just ordered a set to cover our side windows. And what we love about this thing is, so before we had that, even with the AC on, the front dash where Bell likes to sit, Doug loves the magnet shade. Yeah, it's awesome. It, uh, it it keeps the RV front area cool. Like even with the AC on, it would always be hot on the dash where Bell would like to sit. You, we could be like in the dinette and it would be like, say 75. On the dash, the dash would hit 117. Uh, so it makes a huge difference. We also like that you can look outside and you don't even see it from the inside. It's, it's a perfect view from the outside, but people, people cannot see from the inside. So that's really the reason why we're putting it on the sides now, so that when we have our, all of our curtains open on the inside, we'll be able to sit up there. I got a little coffee table, and I can look out and spy, and people watch, and nobody will even know that I'm staring at them. <laughs> I think the little bell is coming out. Oh, everybody likes to see bell, too. So, uh, does the shade cover the top? black of the windshield david i don't think it does it does not um and the reason why is it's held on by magnets so you this sabrina puts the shade up by herself and sound like i'm a child she puts it up all by herself it's just that easy because of the magnet magnets it just sticks so you have to place these magnets on the inside of the windshield and the only way to put the magnets up on that windshield all the way up in that black area would be if we would remove our we have interior cabinets so uh magna shade i guess they they determined for most people they do not want to remove their cabinets add magnets and then try to put your cabinets back up in place again so it just goes up to uh just just the viewing uh, screen of the of the windshield but we love it we there's certain things that if they would get destroyed, stolen, or for whatever reason, lost, that we would replace immediately. That would be one of them. That would be one of them. That yeah. magnet shade is, it's a li literal lifesaver for Bell. <laughs> um, let's see. I think there were a couple more questions. I have trouble getting back to questions. Nice pat. Yeah, Doug, this is an awesome place. We love it. Give Bell a hug. Hey, Mickey. We are at a KOA. Uh... Mark said, don't forget about the wind funnels. He said he got, yeah, I think you guys are talking about the, the 360 siphons that we have up on our uh, vents for the black tank and the gray tank. They make a huge difference too, as far as keeping uh, odors from, because even gray tank, oh, yeah. believe it or not, can smell, uh, especially when you're boondocking and you're, you're holding on to those tanks for a long time. You know, your oils from your body and uh, food particles and stuff gets into your gray tank. And that, that has a, an off odor as well. Weird, Paul, we're going to make at least one of those videos today. We're going to sit down and uh, do the uh, questions you should ask yourself. I think that'll be a helpful video for a lot of people. I think we're going to do it inside. We'll bug do it free. inside, bug free. Yeah, we'll do it inside. <laughs> so we just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody for a little bit. We're almost at 20 minutes. What do you think? I think we're good. You're Bell, good. Bell's you're, eating grass. You're done with the bugs. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Bye we guys. appreciate it. And uh, safe travels. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we will talk to you guys <laughs> next time. All right. Be safe. Bye. <laughs>